Hello, this is Minder Chen. I'm a professor of management information system at Martin Vismas School of Business and Economics, California State University, Channel Island. And we're going to talk about entrepreneurships. Last time we、um, covered the characteristic entrepreneur, and in this lecture we're going to discuss Jeffrey Tingman's model of entrepreneurships. And before we get into、uh, Timman's model of entrepreneurship, let's just、uh, review a little bit of the three core element of a startup.、Uh, what constitutes as a good startup? First is the calibers of the team,、uh, of the startup team, the founding teams, which are critical、uh, to the success of a startup company, and the quality of a startup product.、Uh, you have.、Um, A leading innovative product that's welcomed by the market, and the third is the potential size of the market、uh, for the product or services that you're creating. And let's start to introduce Timman's model of entrepreneurships.、Um, Jeffrey Timman、uh, was a professor at、uh, Babson、uh, College, which are known for its entrepreneurship program. And in Timmons' model,、um, he considers opportunity, teams, and resources as the three critical factors、uh, available to entrepreneur, and hold that success depends on the ability of entrepreneurs to balance this、um, three critical factors、um, to be able to assess and evaluate opportunity. Uh, come in their way, and to be able to marshal the resources that may be available to them, and the third is to be able to form、uh, the the startup teams.、Uh, as we mentioned, startup team is one of the critical factors、um, earlier, and the entrepreneur search for an opportunity, and on finding it, they it will. Um, the entrepreneur shapes the opportunity into high potential venture by drawing up a team and gather the required resources to start a business that capitalize on the opportunity. The entrepreneur risk his or her career and personal cash flow and net worth in order to pursue、uh, such opportunity. And there are several references here.、Uh, this is actually、uh, a chapter from Jeff Tingman's book called "New Venture Creation," which actually discusses this、uh, model in detail, which is a good resource that you can、uh, refer to.、Um, in a diagram,、um, it's easier to, for us to understand Tingman's model.、Um, the three key element、um, are. Opportunity, resources, and the team. And the opportunity,、um, first of all,、um, are fuzzy、uh, at the beginning.、Uh, so over time, you need to、uh, get some clarification in terms of whether the opportunity is、uh, a real one.、Um, and because of the ambiguity, it Actually, cause a lot of uncertainty and risk involved in a new ventures. And when you see the opportunity,、uh, the founder, the team, actually need to create a business model, a business plan, and in order to to,、um, to seek out resources that may be required,、um, in order to pursue opportunity. And the resource can be、uh, external.、Um, A leadership's、uh, kind of attribute of the team,、um, particularly the founders,、uh, will be necessary to convince external st stakeholder to participate in this new ventures creation process. And certainly, the team involves the founder. The founder need to really balance the、uh, the uncertainty and the risk at the same time, trying to.、Um, Try to acquire、uh, financial capital、uh, from the、uh, financial market.、Um, and to some extent,、um, we understand the mon money 
follows high potential opportunity, conceive of or lead by a strong management team. So to have a strong team, including the founders, is important in terms of a successful uh, entrepreneurial um, activities. In Timmons' model, the starting point tends to be uh, from opportunities. Um, and at this point, you may not have money, strategy, network, team, or business plan. But you need to shape size. Um, you need to shape and estimate the size and depth of the opportunity, and in order to establish required uh, resource and the team. So the starting point is opportunity, but based on the opportunity, you need to kind of acquire the resources and form a teams. And the founder, which is the entrepreneur, need to uh, take charge and to attract key player to the team, to the founding teams, and manage and redefine the risk reward equation. And Timman believed that entrepreneurial process was not just about creating new company capitals and job, but also about fostering an ingenious human spirit and improve humankind. Um, this is documented in his book called Entrepreneurial Mind. And what entrepreneurs uh, think about is the process of creating value by bringing together a unique combination of resources to pursue an opportunity. This is pretty much based on Timmons' model. And, and certainly the resource here in, uh, include human resource, uh, which is the team. What the entrepreneur do, um, based on Stevenson, is the pursue opportunity without regard to resources currently under control. Uh, this two statement uh, seems to be contradictory to each other. Uh, however, if you're creative, innovative, and resourceful enough, uh, you with the opportunity um, identify, you should be able to. Uh, put together resources, although the resources may not be owned by yourself, um, to, to help you to pursue the opportunity. And so as a founder, your role uh, is to balance um, the opportunity and the resources and the team. Um, you may start with opportunity and then you may shift in terms of team building and then uh, focus on requiring resources. And when you have more resources, maybe you can identify additional, a new or expanded opportunity and then acquire um, more capable people to your team. So this three factor are kind of interrelated and interdependent on each other. And you have to constantly try to balance the three factors and, and and move the new venture ahead. In terms of opportunity, um, opportunity can come from different um, directions. Uh, first, maybe due to some emerging technology. And in the IT field, we have something called Moore's Law, which means computer hardware improve its performance about 18 months. Um, they improve double its performance every 18 months. And also there's a uh, Metcalfe's law, which is really about network effect, which means the more people in your network, the value of the network will increase um, exponentially. And also there's something about disruptive technology, which tends to actually um, emerge from the low end of the existing market, but improve its performance uh, dramatically and and can kind of grab the low end market, but eventually um, expand it to the high end market. So um, opportunity come from not just technology cha uh, change, but also some change in the environment. 
including government deregulations、um, and also some changes in the value chain. Another、uh, sign for change, which drive the needs for new solution, would be some societal sea change. Uh, such as demographic uh, shift, maybe towards more、um, aging、uh, aging society, and or millennials is now in the workforce and they have different、um, characteristic which may need、uh, new product and services to their liking. So if you are a keen Kind of trend spotter or trend or even better a trend setter,、um, you may be able to grab the opportunity to,、uh, in front of you. And also another factor are、uh, is what we call it、um, Brontosaurus factor, which means a lot of big company, although they're very powerful, but they tend to be very slow in responding to the market need driven by some of the factor identified earlier. So that's where that's your chance. That's your chance、uh, as a startup company to compete with the big guy. To measure the opportunity,、uh, it can be measured in terms of the market demands, the market structure, and the size, and also the margin, the profit margin.、Uh, we will discuss this in detail when we talk about market sizing and、um, estimations.、Um, Much later in this class, so we're not going to discuss this in detail. In terms of resource,、um, the current thinking of the resource. First of all, resource could means financial resource, physical asset, human resources, or even your business model and business plan can be your、uh, intellectual kind of property resources. And in order to use the resource wisely,、um, you need to unleash your creativity. Uh, to come up with creative use and integration of not just internal but external resources, and therefore you don't really need to tap into your own cash, your capital that much,、uh, because you you really need to manage your cash flow very carefully.、Um, And in a very competitive environment,、uh, particularly when a lot of new startup company competing in the same piece of pie. Um, you may easily run out of cash. If you can reserve, conserve your cash, you may be the last man standing, and you will be the successful one. And so, one of the worst things that can happen to entrepreneur is to have too much money too early. Then you're not really careful in terms of conserving the、uh, the resources, particularly the cash, on hand. Uh, one way to kind of、um, conserve the resources on your own resources is through something called bootstrapping.、Um, bootstrapping believe in minimizing、um, the use of resources and control those resources, but、uh, try to get things done with minimal resources. And there's a good.、Um, Reference by Guy Kawasaki、um, about the art of bootstrapping,、um, but from the new venture creation book,、um, the it talk about bootstrapping in the following way:、uh, bootstrapping is about starting with minimal resource requirement, and and then you're creating something which allow you to obtain additional resources, so so you can kind of achieve more with less. And effective new ventures strive to minimize and control the resources, not maximize and own.、Uh, this is actually consistent with、uh, the current thinking in e-commerce regarding so-called share、uh, sharing economy, such as Uber's and Airbnb.、Um, is this kind of thinking?、Um, So the resource can be、uh, asset for the business, key people, the business plan,、uh, the capital.、Um, the last thing is the cash. So you try to conserve the cash.、Uh, conserving the cash allow you to conserve your equity, so you don't have to raise capital on the capital market that frequently.
the team, um, the third factors um, is important. Um, a lot of venture capital firm believe that um, they they invest in a great team. Uh, it may not be their idea, uh, it may not be even the technology, but the team, um, because uh, that's in really short supply. Um, there's a saying that uh, they prefer a great A entrepreneur and the team with a great B idea and over a great B team with a great A idea because uh, with a uh, team, uh, they can evolve the great B idea into an A plus one over time, not the other way around. So entrepreneurial leaders, uh, they learn and teach fast and better. Uh, they can deal with adversity. Uh, they're really resilient. Uh, they exhibit uh, integrity, dependability, and honesty. They focus on building the entrepreneurial culture and the startup organizations. Uh, the quality of the team, um, definitely you want them to have uh, relevant industry or domain experience and the track record, uh, that would be ideal. And they're motivated to excel. Uh, they're committed, they're determined, and they're persistent. Um, they're Tolerate of risk, ambiguity, and uncertainty, and they're very creative in come up with um, innovative solution. Uh, they take things into their own hand and uh, control their destiny. They're very flexible, adaptable to adjust their kind of business model and business plan uh, when um, the market validation uh, indicate um, certain strategy or direction need to be changed. They're obsessed with opportunity, but very focused. Uh, they're not um, uh, sometimes obsessed with opportunity may uh, lead to out of focus and try to pursue too many ideas. Uh, that certainly would be the wrong things to do. And um, the team will have great leaderships and they encourage each other and they can communicate directly and, and very fast. The founder and the leader. Um, the team um, ideally will be to have a team leader with a uh, track record. Uh, it, the person will be a pace setter. Um, they are creating the culture for the startup company. Uh, they have the ability to attract other key management members uh, to build up the team. And the founders um, who become the leaders um, does so by building heroes, um, the heroes uh, in their team, not himself. Um, a leader would um, adopt a philosophy that rewards success and support, supports honest value, which is important. Um, a startup company has the culture of Tolerance, tolerate a value is very important. Uh, share the wealth um, with others who help to create the new company, um, but they do set high standard for both the performance and the conduct. Last, uh, this is based on um, um, a class called Startup Class um, by Y Combinator, and you can follow this link. It's a very good um, online resource, highly recommend it. Um, usually a lecture is like an hour and a half hour long or something. And from that uh, first lectures, uh, it talk about the job for the founder and or the CEO. Uh, need to set the vision uh, to be able to raise capital. Um, they are evangelists which can evangelize their employee, the customer, or actually the investors. Um, they know how to hire and manage a team and they make sure the entire company has the execution power, not just planning the business plan on a piece of paper. Uh, so um, this pretty much sum up the uh, Timmons model for entrepreneurships. And, Next time, we will introduce something called effectuation, a very interesting theory to, uh, and very useful one. Thank you for listening. Um, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.